I'm going to put it on a loop. I think we're going to listen to it three times. Listen for that, that high-pitched prop sound. Remember, this is a jet. It's not a prop as it goes by. Listen. Okay. It sounded like, an, if you weren't looking at it, it sounded like a single engine prop airplane just flew by. You might look up and expect to see a little Cessna going by. And in fact, it is a little bitty Cessna. It's a little bitty two-bladed prop that's spinning uh, as fast as it possibly can. Now, the rat was originally designed, and it's on all these airplanes, as a back, the last resort, the absolute last resort. It's assuming that there's going to be basically a dual engine failure at altitude. Let's say you're at 30,000 feet, both engines flame out for some reason. You start descending down, you're looking for a suitable field, you're out of hydraulics and you're out of electric because both of your engines have stopped running. Maybe the auxiliary power unit isn't running, but it's not going to get you any thrust either. And so uh, let's assume that's out. At that point, you've got to have some sort of electrical so you can talk on the radios, so you can have some shoot some sort of an approach and get some sort of instrumentation in front of you. And then you have to have some sort of hydraulics to still fly the airplane. It gives you the minimum of all of those categories that I just mentioned, but it does work. But it's meant for the airplane to kind of cruise down now and find a place to land. It's it's not designed for an airplane that's at four or 500 feet and loses all power. There's no time to get the engines relit and it's not gonna provide much benefit to them, except it's evidence for us that it was a dual engine failure, most likely.